This 66-year-old one was referred by a, an optometrist working in another practice where the doctor was implanting the symphony lens, and she was quite unhappy with her vision, complained of hazy vision, trouble driving at night, and a hazy, dim, uncomfortable vision. She was referred to us for possible lens exchange. Her uh, best corrected visual acuity um, with his toric multifocal implant was around 2040. We scheduled her for intraocular lens exchange, and I can demonstrate that technique for you. Patient, um, we usually try to use viscoat uh, as it's um, more protective of the endothelium, carefully dissecting out and visco dissecting the lens uh, to here, um, move it into the anterior chamber, um, and you can see the toric nature of this lens. Um, we carefully transected it, and um, really flexible lens, and easily transected with the scissors, uh, carefully removing it from the eye. I was sorry I hadn't grabbed the haptic there first. Um, the lens eventually was removed without too much a tugging. I try not to reopen uh, new fresh wounds and just reopen the others. She was only three or four months out, so it was relatively easy to reopen the wounds. Here we're using a Whitman spatula, and I'm carefully removing all traces of lens and epithelial cells on the uh, posterior capsule uh, and on the posterior part of the anterior capsule. The crystal lens introduced, um, we um, call this the spider in the knot hole technique where we flip the lens up and make very sure that we're getting the lens into excellent position. And a CTR ring wasn't needed in this case, pretty big eye, and we carefully rotated the lens and found it to be very stable and centered. Um, once we have the lens in position, a little uh, myostat, and um, I usually place uh, dexamethasone and uh, keratolac in the anterior chamber. The patient did remarkably well, and on her first postoperative day, she had an uncorrected vision of 2025.